my final thoughts on all this as we look at the sign here erected by Phoenix City possible contamination which is kind of funny because as I mentioned in the first video they test this place the nonprofits test this place every two weeks throughout the growing season and there's not been a single time in the last two years that the E. coli level in this creek hasn't been above their maximum detection level which is extremely you know hazardous for people to have contact with the water but people have been putting wastewater and and chemicals into streams and rivers in this country for a long long time and until the latter part of the 20th century there was really no recourse to regulate it to stop it uh, or to to force any companies to medi remediate any of this and uh, it wasn't until the passage of the Clean Water Act in the early 70s and also the Endangered Species Act that really private citizens had any legal recourse to protect the environment in which they live around and uh, those are two of the most impactful pieces of legislation in terms of the environment and for natural resources that have probably ever been passed in the United States